What's going on everybody? It's your old pal, the original gamer, Stevie Stroh, and I'm back at you here with another exciting color computer game for the Radio Shack TR City Color Computer, also known as a Coco. This one is called Ketchum from 1982. This one is definitely inspired by a very popular game from the Atari 2600, which was called Kaboom, where a mad bomber was dropping bombs and you had to catch those bombs with the little buckets of water. And that game was basically inspired by Breakout. When Breakout, you used a paddle to bounce balls to break away objects. In this case here, the objects are falling on you and you have to catch all the objects. Let's see how we do. And here we go. The objects are falling and I am catching. The three lines here indicate I've got three paddles. That's the number of attempts or tries or lives I have, I believe. Um, the object has just changed now from a red square to a white something or another. Now this also is similar to another game I've featured for you that was known as Popcorn. So Popcorn did the same thing, but Popcorn it was always the same falling object. This one puts a spin on it and the objects change. So I don't know if these are bombs or t-shirts honestly because they're such small pixels it's hard to say what it was. When I first saw it I thought it was possibly a t-shirt, but who knows, these could have been intended to be bombs. When the resolution is this low and the pixels are this big, it's anybody's guess what that was. It could be a, a, an antler on a deer head for all we know here. So now we've got blue squares. We went from red squares to blue squares. Almost sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. Red square, blue square. Um, red fish, blue fish. So I don't know what that is. These are crisscrosses. Crisscross items. Um, interesting looking objects. Okay, now the speed's picking up. This is the letter H. We have now entered the realm of Sesame Street. The letter today is H. Hmm. I would sound like Yoda there. I don't know if that's Grover or Yoda. Um, I don't know what these things here are. Um, but they're blue thingamajiggies and I'm picking them up. Now I've got a red thingamajiggy. It's basically like somebody's just throwing out their trash. You know, it's called this garbage man. Man, you're just collecting trash. Ah, I missed one. Oh, when you miss one, you have to start all the way over. Oh, man. Talk about shameful. Shameful. Okay, so um, my number of paddles are reducing. I've got two paddles left. It's, um, it's very difficult to move side to side um, as quickly as these things are falling, believe it or not. So uh, there you have it. This game was called Catch 'em. A different take, a different spin, a different twist on a style of games that has been around since Breakout. And it was done a couple different ways by a few different people. So Kaboom on the Atari 2600 was one flavor of this. Popcorn was another popular format of gaming. The catching, uh, the breaking of the balls, the breaking of bricks. That uh, format has been around for a while and used a lot of different ways. And this game wasn't terrible. Um, I did like the fact that it changed the objects up and gave you something different to do. So that was kind of cool. So I hope you enjoyed Catch 'em. I am the original gamer, Stevie Stroh. This has been another exciting game for the Radio Shack TRS-80 color computer, also known as the Coco. If you enjoyed this video, mash that like button and hit the thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that subscribe button. If you got something you'd like to say, throw out a comment and let me know. And why not? share this video with your friends so they can see it and they can enjoy it as well and help me grow my channel by sharing with others. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye bye now.